In many ways, the lands of Elden Ring are nothing more than a resource-rich canvas from which the Outer Gods are trying to extract essence or power. The formless mother craves wounds and flesh rife with blood. Tainted with her kiss is a poisonous and deadly disease. The god of rot has infected Mikola of the Halig Tree and caused a rot of death to sweep over the lands, killing anything in its path. The Lord of the Frenzied Flame wants to burn everything on the entire planet and engulf it in a world of flames, all to bring us together as one. And the Greater Will, through its very parasitic nature, has likely transformed great relics of the past like the Crucible into the beacons of the Golden Order like the Erd Tree. We can see this in places like underground tunnels and caverns throughout the game, where many giant tree roots, presumably from the massive Erd tree above, have found their way deep underground with many bodies and souls found dead in their branches, as the tree itself is feeding off all life on the planet. Where this theory gets really crazy though, is when we start to realize that everything surrounding the Great Will specifically has something to do with mushrooms or fungi. You see, in real life, many people don't know this, but mushrooms and trees often communicate through the tree roots underground, which send signals between trees and the mushrooms themselves, telling each other of upcoming danger and other information. But you may be wondering where in Elden Ring's case this applies. Well, if you take a look at the two fingers, you may have noticed they have a fleshy exterior, but the dead ones we find near runes actually seem to be made of wood? Why would this be the case? And on top of this, one uncommon form of mushroom called a dead man's finger fungus looks exactly like the two fingers in game. Is this the inspiration that FromSoft had when they were designing the two fingers? It certainly seems like it. The reason this is so significant though, is it would perfectly tie into the idea that the greater will is a parasite in the world, harnessing everything in its path of its essence. So it could be that through the use of the great trees, that have giant roots underground, they communicate with mushrooms, or in our case, the two fingers, to spread their influence. The reason this is so significant though, is it would perfectly tie into the idea of the greater will being a parasite in the world, harnessing it for its essence. Through the use of the great trees and through giant roots underground, it communicates with other mushroom beings, or in our case, the two fingers, which are used to spread influence. But it only gets more wild from here, because for those of you that didn't know as well, mushrooms can actually survive in space. Which would perfectly fit into the lore of the Greater Will sending a comet hurling through space holding the Elden Beast, as this comet could also have contained the fungi materials that would start to envelop the lands between. Could it be that the Greater Will is really an alien fungi that has come to the land to strip it of all its resources and power? As someone that personally loves sci-fi even more than fantasy, the idea that an ancient and godlike alien race of parasitic fungi have taken over a planet to harness a long lost secret power sounds amazing. And there actually is a ton of evidence to support this theory potentially having some validity. For example, this would also perfectly explain why Marika shattering the Elden Ring was so bad for the greater will as the death root plague that began to spread from Godwin's decaying body would have infected and killed nearby fungus and trees as we see in the game. And to tie this all together, we know that the Erd tree roots deep underground are digesting the bodies of dead and fallen soldiers and beasts, which is exactly what fungi does in our real world, especially during the Carboniferous period, where it broke down bacteria that developed enzymes to spawn the foundation blocks of our very world. We know that mushrooms recycle dead material into fertilizer, which helps establish growth long-term on planets. And we know that the Erd tree is most likely the evolved form of the crucible, which by definition is a situation of severe trial or in which different elements interact, leading to the creation of something new. This perfectly explains the story of Elden Ring and ties together so many of the core themes, characters, and events that it's almost a disservice to yourself to not at least humor this awesome theory in some way.